thanks for coming back to Truly Happy. Right now I'm giving you a peek inside my fridge. This is Saturday night. I haven't come in here and cleaned a thing, but you can see how empty it is. Usually by Saturday night, our fridge is pretty empty. Sunday morning, I head to the grocery store. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get up, go to Trader Joe's, then I'll hit Aldi and fill it up with some fruits and vegetables and some essentials to get us through the week. Right before I head to the grocery store, I like to use the Method All-Purpose Cleaner. I like the cucumber scent. I'll go ahead and wipe the shelves down with this and the interior walls. Good morning. It's about 10 a.m. on Sunday. Just got home from grocery shopping, picked up a whole bunch of goodies, I'm actually starting a Whole30 this morning, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that this week. I'm gonna make a couple videos about it to show you what I'm eating and just why I've chosen to do a Whole30. This will be my third or fourth time doing one, and I like to do it, I think it's kind of just a reset for the body, and it just gives me energy and it makes me feel good. So I'm going to show you all of the groceries I've got. I'll try to point out the ones that are strictly for the Whole30, and the rest of the stuff is really just for the family. So let's get started from Trader Joe's. Picked up a bottle of my favorite alkaline water. Then I have some mineral water next to it. I like to have a bunch of things to drink in the fridge. I'm really a water drinker, so as many different varieties of water I can find and store in the fridge, the better. A lot of times I think I'm hungry when I'm really just thirsty. So water is key for me. Next up, a box of veggie broth, which I will use later on this morning. I'm gonna add it to some chicken breast, cook it on low all day, and then just shred it up, store it in the fridge. Because a Whole30, usually preparation for me is key. So if I can have protein that's cooked and ready to eat along with some veggies, I just find the Whole30 goes a lot smoother. Next up, some bananas, baby carrots, a lime, and a couple of sweet potatoes. I have some sweet potatoes in the pantry, but they're really small. They're perfect to make sweet potato fries with or something if I'm gonna dice them and roast them. But sometimes I like to make large sweet potatoes in the crock pot. I'll just cook them for about four hours on high. When they're ready, I'll just cut this in half, put half directly in the fridge, and I'll eat the other half. So that's what these are for. Next up, I have my baby bok choy, which is a weekly staple for me. I have some sliced mushrooms. And of course, all of the produce is Whole30 approved. So that definitely will be part of my meal plan this week. Along with this organic rice cauliflower, my Trader Joe's runs out of this stuff. So whenever I see it, I pick up a bag, even if it's not on the meal plan. And it's not for me this week, but I know eventually there's gonna be a day where I have nothing to eat and I will be so happy to find this stored in the fridge, or sorry, in the freezer. Back there, I have some uncured bacon ends and pieces. This has sugar in it, so it is really not strictly Whole30. I, however, will use this. Um, I believe next weekend, I'm gonna make Kahlua pork, which is a delicious recipe. I will link that recipe below. It's from Nom Nom Paleo. I kind of, I use the Whole30 products that I want to use. I've done this enough times to know what works for me. And a little bit of sugar in this bacon, I find it's not a problem for me. So I picked this up early just to have for next week. Then I've got some plantain chips. These are a great thing on a Whole30 when you want something crunchy. I believe these use sunflower oil, which is not the best, but sometimes you use what you can. And also, I'm trying to do this Whole30 on a budget, so I really just worry about what I can afford and the best choices that I can make. And for me right now, these plantain chips with the sunflower oil are the best choice that I can make. In the back, I have some spicy Italian chicken sausage, which I believe is Whole30 approved. Then I picked up this thyme honey balsamic vinaigrette. I've never had it before, but it is strictly balsamic, vinegar with a little bit of oil, some thyme and some honey. On a strict Whole30, this would probably be a no-go, but for me, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. 
The marinara is Whole30 approved, so that is a great thing to have. You can mix it up with some ground turkey or ground beef, throw it over either zucchini noodles or some spaghetti squash, and that is an easy, delicious dinner. Down here, soft handmade pretzel. This is definitely not part of my Whole30, but my son Will was with me. He usually likes to get the pretzel stick, and we use that in lunches through the week. This week, he wanted to try the soft handmade pretzel, so I gave it. It looks delicious, and I bet if this is warmed up with a little bit of salt dipped in mustard, it would be so good, but I will have to take his word for it this time. Then I picked up some salami. This salami is not Whole30 compliant, but I do find that I like to have this kind of stuff for emergencies. Sometimes you just need a bite of something, and I know the kids will love this. Last up from Trader Joe's, I got another can of coconut cream. I like to store this in the fridge and it thickens up. It is really good to make like a whipped cream with or you can use this in your coffee. So that is it from Trader Joe's today. I did not need much. My grand total was $37 for everything you see here. Next up was Sprouts. And everything I picked up at Sprouts is Whole30 compliant. I picked up two Lara bars. They were actually on sale this week. I chose the cherry pie and the cashew cookie flavor. These two flavors are Whole30 approved, some are not. And these definitely are not a snack I like to eat every day. They're really just a throw in the purse, emergency kind of food. And when I do have them, I like to eat just half of one. Got some grape tomatoes in the back, which if you've watched my videos before, you know are a staple in this house. Picked up some green beans. I probably will go ahead and roast these. I really, really like them roasted. And they're also a good thing if you make a whole bunch and take about a third of whatever you made, store it in the fridge. I like to eat them for breakfast. It's a strange breakfast food, but I think they're really good. And it's an easy thing to eat on the Whole30. Picked up some apples, and then down there are some raw cashews. I like to go ahead and roast these myself and pre-portion them out for snacks during the week. And that is everything from Sprouts. I believe everything here was $9. My last stop of the morning was Sprouts. Had to run in and pick up a couple of things. Picked up two bags of spinach. This week it was on sale for 69 cents a bag. We'll use it up and then when it starts to get a little wet and smushy in the bag, I will throw it in the freezer. Then we will have that for green smoothies. There's a pineapple hanging out in the back. Picked up a bag of cilantro, some jalapenos. I'm going to make some of the Pioneer Woman salsa. So we will use a jalapeno in that. And I will tell you what I'm going to do with the rest of them in just a minute or so. Down there hanging out is a plantain. I'll wait until this gets nice and brown and spotty. And then I like to slice them very thin using a mandolin. Spray the slices with coconut oil. And then I will bake it in the oven and make my own plantain chips. Which I love the convenience of the Trader Joe's plantain chips. But homemade ones are so good. They taste like a dessert treat. They're so sweet and they're really, really good. Give it a try. Next up, some bagels for the kids. Back there are some diced tomatoes and diced tomatoes with green chili. That is to go in the salsa. Another carton of heavy whipping cream. Got some cream cheese. That is what I'm gonna use the other jalapenos for. I will make some Jalapeno poppers, just stuff those jalapenos after they're seeded with some cream cheese, or you can use sharp cheddar. Throw a piece of bacon around them, either throw them on your grill or bake them. They're really good, and my oldest son Michael requested them, so I thought I would pick them up. And actually, that bag of jalapenos, which you get six jalapenos in there, was 49 cents. So I had to give that a try. Got some hummus down there. We always have hummus stocked in the fridge. Picked up a box of chewy granola bars just for emergency kid food. Then this Italian sausage was on sale $1.99. 
Not the cleanest of Italian sausage I've ever seen, but I will just throw them right in the freezer. And that is a good thing for the kids. And my husband, they love sausage and peppers, so I know those will be used up. And I picked up four pounds of lean ground beef. That was also on sale for, I believe, $2.99 a pound. Now I will use those for the Whole30. Organic, grass-fed, pasture-raised products are always best, but don't let the money stop you. If you can afford lean ground beef and it's conventional, but you know you'll eat it and it'll help you follow your plan, go ahead and buy it. So everything I got here from Aldi was $39. My grand total for groceries was about $75 this week. Let me go ahead and share our meal plan. Now this is the meal plan for my family. I will be eating some dinners that are listed, sometimes I won't. I'll actually be sharing my meal plan in a couple days. So if you're interested in that or any other Whole30 information, please come back and visit in a day or two. So tonight is Sunday. We're gonna be having homemade macaroni and cheese with ham. Tomorrow on Monday, I'm gonna be doing Verde pork. I have a recipe video for that and I will link it below. And Tuesday, taco salads. We have tacos every week and it's usually on Tuesday for Taco Tuesday. That is just a winner with everyone in the family, so it is a staple for us. Wednesday, I'm gonna do Italian sausage and peppers, probably make a salad with that and have some ciabatta, or maybe I will make the other half of the pizza dough I purchased at Trader Joe's about a week or two ago. I used half, froze the other half. I think I will thaw that dough and make some garlic knots with it. Thursday, I always have an easy dinner on Thursday. This week it is pancakes with bacon and smoothies. And I'm gonna go ahead and try the Power Cakes Kodio, or Kodiak Cakes brand I bought from Costco a couple days ago, so we're gonna give that a try. Friday is pizza night for the kids, and for my husband and I, I'm gonna do a sweet potato turkey hash that I love, it's easy, it makes a lot, and it's great for leftovers for lunch or breakfast the following day. And on Saturday, for the kids, I always do something easy like chicken nuggets or taquitos. And for my husband and I, I will do stir fry veggies with chicken. And instead of a teriyaki sauce, I will probably just use some coconut aminos for my serving. So that is it. That is our groceries for the week and our meal plan. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe. Bye-bye.